Hello, festival goers of the internet. I'm the Festival Finesser, here to share some festival camping tips with you guys today in this video. I know you're probably expecting some kind of video of what to bring, what to pack, what to expect, but in this video, we're going to be talking about how to prepare before the festival and how to ensure that when you're packing, you are not stressing, you are not running around crazy, and you do not forget anything upon your departure. So keep it locked. After the intro, I'm going to be sharing a whole bunch of tips and advice to make sure you guys can have the best festival going experience possible this festival season. Can I get a year? I'm the festival finesse. Finesse gang, can I get a year? What's good, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. For those of you guys who are new here and do not know me, what's good? I'm the Festival Finesser. This is my channel, a channel that revolves around music festivals and live music going experiences with a focus and concentration on dubstep and rhythm. If you are not following me at a festival day by day, you are probably following me at a show in New York, New Jersey, Philly, Delaware, Virginia, Maryland, basically anywhere I go, you guys are coming with me. And if you're not following me at a festival or a show, you're probably sitting with me here at this desk, getting life hacks, trick tips, festival reviews, lineup reviews, EDM news, controversial debates, and any other words of advice I can give to you guys to make sure you can have the best festival going experience possible. And I hope we can do that today by sharing some festival camping advice and experience to help you guys pack and prepare before even going to the festival. Getting ready to go to a camping festival can be a lot of work. It can be very overwhelming, especially if you've never done it before. And in this video, I wanted to help prevent that and help you guys pack proficiently without stress, making sure you don't forget anything and to do so in a timely manner. Now, this video is not going to be a what to pack for a camping festival. I already have that video posted on the channel. So if you have not seen that and that's what you came here for, definitely check out that video. I'll put a link in the description box below so you guys can check that out as well as other festival camping preparation videos. But in this video, I wanted to focus more on preparing for the festival in regards to packing and kind of enhancing your packing preparation and strategies. So one of the first words of advice I can give to you guys in order to do that is to leave yourself enough time to pack for the festival. Leave yourself two to three days to pack just because there are a lot of things that you have to do. And if you think you're going to do all of these things the day before the festival or the day of, you are sadly mistaken because there is a lot that you're going to have to actually go through if you want to be properly prepared. So let's look at some of these things real quick. The first thing I have on here is that you're going to want to leave time to do your laundry and pack your bag slash find your clothes. You know, a lot of us have festival clothes that are tucked away in a box. You're going to have to find that box. Make sure your clothes are clean. Pick out which clothes you're going to want to bring. You're going to need some clothes to sleep in and stuff like that. Extra clothes for rain and inclement weather. So packing your bag is just one less thing you have to worry about as the festival approaches. In addition to locating your clothes and festival stuff, you're also going to have to locate your camping stuff, which you probably haven't seen in over a year that is stashed away in the garage, tucked away in the back shelf. So you're going to have to grab all of your stuff. And then once you have all of your stuff, you're going to want to kind of assess it and see, you know, if anything's broken. This was a super come up last year. I don't know if it still works. It does. What you have to restock. Some tent stakes. All right, it looks like I am missing tent stakes. So I got to come up on those uh, at Walmart and make a note of that, Brian. You need tent stakes. If anything needs to be cleaned, if it rains or if it's muddy or you just maybe somewhere something happened, your tent got destroyed or wet or whatever, it might smell like mold. Check out your gear. See if you have to, you know, dust it off, spray it down with the hose or something because you don't want to pull up to the festival with dirty or crusty or broken gear. That's what I'm saying. We want to clean. This is not clean. Make sure you clean your stuff after because this is going to be a bitch and just really nasty to get off now because that is just going to be way more of a project to do at the festival than at the luxury of your own home. And while you're assessing to see if things are broken or need to be cleaned, you also want to do an inventory and see what kind of things you have to restock on, such as paper plates, forks and knives, paper towels, garbage bags, because these are all things you're going to kind of need. And they're things that you're like, oh, we have a bunch of them from the last trip. But if you're just making that assumption and you pull up to the festival and you're like, oh, fuck, we only have two paper plates and one, one roll of paper towels, you're going to be kind of beat. You know what I'm saying? So just take the extra time, go the extra mile to see what you need. Even if you think you have it, just see it with your eyes. You know what I'm saying? because that is just a nice reassurance that you need because if you don't have these things you're going to have to make a run to walmart whether it's on the way or before you leave and this is going to cut into your travel time or your packing time so if you know what you have to get you can have one day of packing and prepping and assessing and then one day of actually purchasing you know what i'm saying so i highly advise taking all of this into consideration packing laundry prep cleaning 
fixing, buying, inventory. You got to do all these things to ensure that you don't forget anything. And then you have everything you need. You know, don't do it the day of because I promise you, you're going to be rushing. You're going to be doing a million things at once, trying to leave on time, trying to be prepared. And you are going to end up forgetting things because you are rushing and running around like a madman. So leave yourself the time and just go the extra mile. Really kind of take inventory and see what you have versus what you need. So now that you guys have taken the time to do your laundry, find your clothes, pack your bag, find your festival gear, assess the gear, it's time to make a checklist to find out what you have versus what you need and what you're gonna have to go out and buy. And so the way you do this is by making a checklist that is unique to you. Obviously there's festival checklists that Lost Land supplies other festivals, but these are generic checklists and you are not a generic person. You are a unique individual and have needs unique to you so you want to mark out those leads and i'll give you a perfect example me i'm a content creator i gotta bring my gopro my gopro pole my batteries extra batteries my memory card my camera my charger my light battery you know i have to bring all these things my wires my cables the chargers I gotta bring all this stuff and i'm not gonna find this on the lost lands website so i make a checklist unique to me and then once you have a checklist you have to make a system what i mean by that it's like a little key so for example, you got your tent, put a check mark next to it. You got your canopy, check mark. You got your sleeping bag, check mark. You don't have napkins and paper towels and plates, but your boy has that. So you're gonna circle it. You don't have it, but someone else does. And then you keep going down the list. Oh, you need bungee cords and zip ties. You gotta restock on those, so you highlight them. Now you kind of have a little system of what you have checked off, what your homies have circled, what you have to buy highlighted. You know what I'm saying? So now you can see at a glance how much you have to go out and buy, how long it's gonna take you, how much stuff you need, how much stuff you have. And it's just kind of like a nice overview of your packing status kind of and where you're kind of at in the packing process. So now that you guys have this checklist made, you know what you have, you know what you have to go out and buy. You went out and bought it because you left yourself enough time to go do that at Walmart. You got your backpack, you know where your clothes are at, you know where your gear is, you know your gear is all ready to go and it's clean and it's all working properly. Now it's time to think about packing the car. And this is something you're gonna wanna do before the festival because it will save you so much time and just make your process of leaving so much smoother. Because if you can pack the car at night, you will have the car ready to go in the morning. So it's basically wake up, grab your personal bag, you know, your carry-on, and hit the road. You don't have to worry about playing Tetris and packing the car. Because if you think you're going to wake up in the morning and pack the car, you've never done it before, you're going to find yourself struggling because there's a lot of stuff. And then your homies are going to pull up with their stuff, and you're going to be like, oh, damn, bro, I was not ready for all this stuff. So at least if you pre-pack the car, you know how everything fits, you know it's going to fit, and it's, it's there, it's done already. If you're someone who uses your car for work and you have to, you know, let's say you're an Uber driver or something and you can't have all that shit in your car overnight, you got to take it out. At least you know how to pack it. So the morning of, you're not trying to figure out, trying to play car Tetris, taking it out, put it this way, put this there, put that on top, slide this in. There's none of that. It's you, you have your system. You put in X, Y, and Z. You know how it goes. Five minutes, the car is packed. Your homies come, put their stuff on top. Boom. Another reason prepacking the car is a good thing is because if you're someone like me who has a small car and a lot of stuff, you might not be able to fit all of your homies or all of your homies' stuff. So if you can prepack the car the night before, you can call up your boy and be like, yo, bro, just wanted to let you know there's not a lot of space for you to bring a cooler, but I already got one, so no worries. You can just put your stuff in mine. Or you might have to do the really unfortunate thing and be like, yo, bro, uh, I didn't realize how much space my car doesn't have and I can't fit you in the car I can only fit John so you know what I'm saying don't make these promises to your homies before you know how much stuff can fit in your car There is a situation personally where I was driving to Lost Lands and I was like, yeah I could take three people and then I was like oh fuck three people and all their stuff in my little sedan we're not all gonna fit so we had to kind of make some sacrifices and leave some camping gear home and that's why going to future festivals i pre-packed the car so i could be like yeah my homie can sit right here his stuff can go here and then in the morning it just wake up and dip there's no chaos no stress how are we packing when are we leaving you can kind of stay on your schedule of when you want it to leave so pre-packing the car is definitely a plus it just helps you know what you're doing it saves time it speeds up the process and uh, it just kind of gives you a nice idea of how your car is going to look, how cramped your passengers are going to be, if everybody can fit, all that kind of good stuff. So definitely a precaution you're going to want to take when getting ready for the festival. And a note I do want to mention if you're pre-packing the car, with that checklist, anything you put in the car that stays in the car, just cross that shit off. You know what I'm saying? That's one less thing to worry about. It is in the car. It is packed. And then when you're getting ready to leave for the festival, you know, make that drive, look at your checklist 
and they're gonna be like, that's in the car, that's in the car, that's in the car, homeboy's got that, still gotta buy that, and you're just gonna be chilling because you know you all the work you did kind of paid off, and you are prepared, you are confident, and you are ready to go to this festival. So the last tip I wanna share with you guys is as a point I already made, and that's why I saved it for last, but I highly advise you guys do a mock-up of your campsite and, you know, go in your backyard, go to a friend's house or whatever, and really set up your campsite in full. Set up your tent, set up the easy up, set up the table, the grill, the chairs, the air mattress, because this is the perfect way to assess your gear. If you set it up, you'll be like, oh, the air mattress has a hole in it. Oh, we're missing the, the propane for the grill. Oh, we don't have any lanterns. Oh, where is this? Where is that? You know, as you're setting it up, you'll see what you have, what you need. This is the opportunity, and that's the time to check off your stuff. And then when you put it away, you know, you can pack it up, put it in the car, cross it off. And then anything that's not in the car will be highlighted or circled, you know, on the checklist. And then, like I said, it's an overview. It's just a nice, like, reminder and, like, assurance that you packed everything. It's done. Anything that's not done is noted. And you can check your checklist, you know, wherever you're at. At Walmart, on the way, what do we got to get? What do we need? It's just nice to, you know, not be thinking what mentally, like, a mental checklist is impossible at a festival do i have this do i have that clothes money id wristband like no put those things on the checklist money wristband id wallet i will put a link to my checklist that i made at lost lands in 2017 in the description box below this video i will also put any other festival tips regarding camping or just you know regular festival tips that i have made in the past all festival tips life hacks will be in the description box below so that is the end of the video guys Thank you for watching. I hope it wasn't too obvious. I hope you guys found some of this stuff helpful and can utilize it in your practices when getting ready for a camping festival. If you guys found this video helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Send it to a homie who's going camping. And in the meantime, I'll be getting more content ready for you guys. I want to do a, you know, festival camping essentials video and kind of like if you're flying to a festival if it's your first festival and you gotta buy stuff what are the essentials you should buy and bring every time that video is coming next i'm going to be doing a whole series of festival camping videos to share with you guys to help enhance your festival going experience but until then i'm the festival finesser i love you and i'll see you for the next one peace I, I